What is going on guys? Ryan from Live It Salty here and welcome to another episode. Today, we are going to be cleaning and cooking our ladyfish here. If you guys did not see how I caught this ladyfish, I'll link the video down below. Make sure you guys go check out that video and find out how I caught this ladyfish. All right, so what we're gonna be doing today is something I've never done before. We are going to be descaling this ladyfish and then we are going to be taking a spoon, yes, a spoon to get the meat off of this ladyfish to cook up some fish fritters today. Now today's recipe is courtesy of Landshark Outdoors on YouTube. You guys should check him out. I'll also put his link in the description. I saw he made this, him and his fiance Brooke, and looked absolutely delicious, and he made it with ladyfish as well. Ladyfish is a really tough fish to cook with because its meat is so soft that it, when you try to put it in a pan or anything, it's just gonna fall apart. So you really have to think outside the box when you're in the kitchen cooking the ladyfish. Um, so basically you take your fish and you put it in the water and you descale in the water that way that the fish scales don't go flying absolutely everywhere. So the way that you descale a fish, and I'll be honest, this is my first time, but I've seen it done a million times on videos, is you're just gonna take your flay knife and run it down the opposite way of the scales here. Just like so, and then do it in the water. That way, fish scales don't get all over us. So as you guys can see, the fish scales are coming right off really nicely and the water is keeping it down so it doesn't fly up everywhere on us. Okay, now that we got this ladyfish here fully descaled, got no scales left on them, we're gonna flay them just like we would any other fish. We're gonna start, turn them around, cut right behind the fin. Up here. Right along the backbone. Poke the knife through the other side. Cut the tail. There we go. And now we are just gonna run the knife along the backbone of the fish. Okay, you guys can see how soft this meat is. It's literally coming off on my fingers as I fillet this fish. Alrighty guys, we got one slab and now you guys can see how soft this meat is. So we are going to cut off this other side and I'll show you guys how we are gonna take a spoon to get the rest of this meat off. So we have our lady fish, two fillets here. Let me tell you guys, of all the fish I've ever filleted, this was definitely the hardest. That meat just comes off on your hands and it's just, it's like gooey almost. So it's gonna be really interesting to cook with here. But what we are going to wanna do is put down the knife. We are going to be grabbing the bowl here. Okay, there we go. So what we are going to do is take our fillet right here and theoretically you're supposed to just be able to run your spoon along it just like that to get the meat off. And we're gonna put it in a separate bowl over here. So we're just going to grab a hold here and push pretty firmly down against the filet, getting no bones here, but only meat. Now these fit, look at that, right there. That's all meat right there, no bones. So these ladyfish actually have tons of tiny, tiny bones. So if you tried to actually flay it like a regular fish, first off, it's too mushy, you're never gonna be able to do that. But also you're gonna end up picking out bones out of your fish forever. So doing this method, you're able to just scoop off all of the meat without dealing with any of the bones. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> it is weird, i give you that. You can see it on my hands. Yes, it's it like we're baking cookies. Yep. Yeah. It is. It's almost like cookie dough. All right, so this filet right here is pretty much completely clean, as you guys can see. So that is done. We're going to do that for the other filet over here, and we'll show you guys how much meat we end up with in our bowl. All right, so as you guys can see here, we have the uh, flayed carcass of the ladyfish along with the two filets here, completely spooned out. And this is how much meat it produced. Now, like I said, guys, this stuff is really sticky and really feels gross, and I've never cooked with anything like this before, but I'm really excited to make these fish fritters with you guys here. All right, so I will see you guys in the kitchen. So we are in the kitchen, ready to start prepping to cook up our fish fritters. I am so excited for this recipe, guys, and I'm going to put in the description of this video 
everything. I'll put the whole recipe in the description so you guys don't have to worry about what I'm saying. Just look down there for the recipe. So I went ahead and cleaned all the vegetables and everything, prepped for the first part of these fish fritters, which is the vegetables. So we have a green bell pepper, red bell pepper, yellow onion. We have some green onions, celery, parsley, and a red jalapeno. So we are going to cut all these up, put them in a bowl, and mix them together. <laughs> So we have our bowl of all of our diced vegetables. Big thank you to my mom for helping me dice up these vegetables because they were a lot to do and it would take me way too long. So we got them all. Make sure you guys finally dice them because they're going to be going in little fritters that are about the size of a golf ball. So now we are going to mix all of our spices together. So we have our lady fish in the bowl here. So we're actually gonna put this in to the bowl of vegetables before we get the spices in. So we're just gonna take a big old spoon and get that lady fish um, in there. There we go, just like so. So we are going to be putting about one teaspoon of each of the spices in here. We have garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, salt, paprika, and thyme here. But before we do that, we have to add an egg. Sorry guys, I forgot about that. So we are going to just crack an egg real quick and put it on in like so. So we got one teaspoon of everything in here and what we're going to do is just get in there and mix it all together. Mixed together in this bowl, we have a half a cup of all-purpose flour and a half a cup of cornstarch. We're gonna add that right to the bowl of everything else here. So we have our buttermilk here. We're going to be adding this and we're gonna be pouring it for about four seconds or so here. That's probably good. We're gonna mix this together and see what the consistency looks like and add more if we think we need it. So this is the consistency you guys are looking for right here. You can take a good look. There's not gonna be exact measurements because everyone's fish sizes are a little bit different. I guess I suppose if we did measure out exactly how much fish there was, but just kind of eyeball it. This is the consistency you guys are going for. So we have our vegetable oil over here. We are going to open this up, pour it on in our pot. about that much and we are going to heat up this vegetable oil to 350 degrees all right so we have our oil i think it's hot enough we don't have a temperature gauge to actually see the temperature here but we are going to stick it in a nice spoon size is what you guys are going to go for here we're going to put them in and sunk down the oil is pretty much up to its temperature there so we are going to do a couple of these guys throw them on in These are looking good so far here, guys. You just wanna make sure you give them a little turn once in a while, that way it cooks both the top and the bottom evenly since you guys can see some of it is exposed. So it looks like these conch fritters are just about done here. So we're gonna take them out, split them in half, take a look at them. So we are going to take our little fancy strainer here, take them out, strain out the oil, just like so, and put them on a pan. You guys see how delicious these look with a nice crispy outside. They look absolutely delicious and can't wait to dive into them. So we are gonna take one of our beautiful looking fritters here, do a little cut in half so you guys can see what it looks like. Nice soft on the inside, crispy on the outside. Probably a little hot here, so we're gonna blow on it before we take a big old chomp out of it. Hey, here I go. I am really impressed, that is so good. What an awesome way to cook a ladyfish, guys. A fish that is known as a trash fish. If you guys know how to cook it, then it could be an absolutely delicious fish for you, your friends, and your family.
Once again, this was not my recipe. Make sure you guys go check out Victor from Landshark Outdoors. He made a video showing off how he made this fish and I just replicated it here at my home. So if you guys did enjoy this kind of video, make sure you guys hit that like button and consider subscribing down below. It really helps me out a lot. So if you guys haven't checked out the video where I actually caught the ladyfish, I will link that. That will be over here on the left side of the screen. And until my next video, remember to keep living salty.